Hi, let's set up the TP-Link Deco M4 mesh system. I have two decos over here and I'll use this one as the main deco and this one as the signal extender. So let's put it away so far and let's set up our main deco. The only way to set up the deco mesh system is by using the TP-Link application in your uh, smartphone. Unlike rotor or extender, you can't use your web browser, you can't use WPS connection. This is a different system, so let's just install the TP-Link deco application. And let's plug in our main deco. Uh, let's see what we have here. We have the yellow LED indicator and we need to wait for it to start blinking blue. It takes up to two minutes. So anyways, we have to wait for the application to be installed. So the application is installed. Let's see what's here. Here we still have the yellow indicator, but let's open the application. I think we have to make some initial uh, setup anyways. So let's agree to the terms and conditions, tap on continue, allow notifications and uh, log in to the TP-Link account. If you don't have a TP-Link account, you have to tap on create a, a TP-Link ID and create one. Let me skip this step, it's super simple. I will just show you how everything works here. Let me log in. Fingerprint login, maybe later. Two-step verification, maybe later. But you can set it up straight away. Paint your home in Wi-Fi. So uh, make sure that you have pulsing blue uh, LED indicator here and tap on let's begin. It's looking for deco. So now I'm prompted to connect to my DECO Wi-Fi network by entering Wi-Fi settings. So let's go to the settings and tap on DECO. Connecting to DECO. Found it. Now it's connected, Deco M4R is found and let's tap on set up the Deco. Now you need to connect Deco to your modem via an Ethernet cable or if you don't have a modem, you, you need to tap on uh, the corresponding item, I don't have a modem, and connect the Deco di directly to a LAN port. But I have my router, so I prefer to connect the deco to my router, so I need the Ethernet cable. This one was in the box. You can confidently use it. Uh, face your deco back panel, plug in the Ethernet cable, and the other end of this cable, plug into your rotors or modems Ethernet output. And that's it. Now you can continue, tap on this arrow, Restart your modem. Uh, this is very important step. So power off your modem or rotor, power it back on, and wait for it to start broadcasting Wi-Fi and to be connected to the in internet. I think you need to look at your modem's LED signals over here. So my signals are a pretty dim, but you need to wait for all these signals uh, like internet signal, like Wi-Fi signal uh, to be glowing solid. Well, now I have a lot of green lights here, including the uh, internet signal. So uh, my modem, sorry, my router is successfully restarted and I can tap on modem restarted button and where do you place this deco okay let's select any room let it be bedroom or office or study or you can customize the room name bedroom is okay for me 
the connection type is detected, detected automatically. You have dynamic IP. Now you need to create your Wi-Fi network name and password. Let's call it my mesh. And let's create simple password so far. Of course, you can create the stronger password later. And it's creating our new Wi-Fi network. Uh, that's it, connection is established. So let's save the Wi-Fi network to the smartphone. The name is my mesh. Let's tap on save. It's saved. It's trying to connect to my mesh. Uh, once again, I'm prompted to open the wireless settings and connect to my mesh. Let's tap on my mesh to connect. Found it, it testing connection. The DECA is now online and now you can add another DECA. Let's do it. So, uh, this is the main DECA connected with my router via Ethernet cable and it's already all set. And let's connect one another. We don't need wired connection here. We will establish wireless. So let's plug the device in. And as before, we need to wait for this indicator to start blinking uh, blue lights. Let's tap on add another deco. Uh, find a suitable spot. Here you can select your ho house configuration and you will see the suggestion how to uh, place your decos. Here is the configuration for three decos I have on the two. Never mind. Uh, let's select one floor. Let's tap on the arrow. Place out in the open space. It's important to create a good coverage good seamless coverage away from la large electrical appliances of course next plug in your deco and wait until deco's led pulse is blue well let's wait it takes up to two minutes but we are patient because we want to establish mesh connection and use the seamless network through our house That's it, it's pulsing, so let's tap on the arrow. It's looking for deco. Finally, deco M4R is found and let's tap on add this device and select the location. Uh, actually, I'm connecting my secondary deco uh, right here, but you can do it in the room where you want to place it. So. Let's say we are in the kitchen now. Our first deco was in the bedroom. Let's say we are in the kitchen. And let's tap on the arrow. It's applying settings. Deco has been added. It's, it was so simple to me. Uh, let's tap on done because I don't have another deco. But you can buy unlimited number of devices and connect it, connect it to your main deco. You see, this is your network configuration. If you connect one more deco, it will appear here as uh, the secondary device. So from this menu, you can manage your network. For example, uh, tap on plus icon to add a deco unit or replace main deco. So change from this one to this one. And this one will be main. Uh, and, or go to more tab and manage different settings. Wi-Fi create a guest network. So guest, guest network allows your visitors to access the internet without re revealing your main network. It's good. Uh, a lot of settings, but for now, I think you're all set. Any questions, comment below, hit the like button and be awesome. Bye guys.